Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well, and thank you for joining me on this guided practice tour. Today, we're going to be reviewing the basics, as well as looking at songs two through nine in the Essential Elements book. Now, we're going to play songs two through five first, pizzicato, then we're going to go pick up that bow and go songs two through nine. Before we begin, let's review a couple basics, violins and violas. Get that shoulder rest on. Make sure the big side of the shoulder rest is on the chin rest side. Get it nice and even across the back of your instrument. Once it's there, bring that instrument up. Set it down on your shoulder. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and down, that you're not bringing your shoulders up, causing tension. Lay that instrument on you. Find that little bump where your first finger meets your hand. Slide the neck of the instrument down until it hits that bump. Make sure your instrument is perpendicular to the floor. Too high up, your bow is going to fall back. Too far down, your bow is going to drift down. Now, cellos, you're a little different because you should be sitting down. Hopefully, none of the violins and violas are sitting down. That's kind of a big no-no when practicing. So cellos, you are at the very edge of your chair. You get that end pen out at the right height, right when you get that, that instrument out at arm's distance, arm length, and you bring it back, and the end pin, the bottom uh, tuning peg of the uh, cello is at ear level. All right, bring those legs around either side. Just remember, the more you squeeze this instrument, the less it's going to resonate. So barely touch it with your legs. Right on the seams of the back left and right belt, I believe it's called. Base. If you have a stool, you're allowed to sit. But if you don't have a tall stool, I would stand. Uh, how far should you pull that end pin out? Oh, I don't know, four clicks. Try that. See, uh, your left arm should extend out, and when it comes back, it should sit nicely in first position. Make sure that instrument is just leaning up right against the inside edge of your pelvis. You want to be as balanced as possible. Don't lock your knees. Don't hunch over the instrument. Bring that instrument to you. All right, assuming we are all holding our instruments properly, let's get started. Here is song number two in the Essential Elements book. It's called Let's Play Open D. Anchor your thumb to the side of the instrument. Reach that first finger over, pluck the note D. All right, and let's play song number two. One, two, ready, go. All right, how'd you do? Did you keep it right in time? Well, let's give it another shot. One, two and two, and same thing, go. How do you like my accompaniment? All right, song number three. Let's change up the style. Keep it nice and even, and use your arm to change the pizzicato angle. So don't just reach over with your first finger to grab that string. Use your arm to get that uh, pizzicato. All right, here we go. Anchor that thumb, song three. Oh, one, two, song three, go. All right, I think we should always do each song twice. Here we go, let's do it again. One and two and song three, go. All right, great job. Well, actually, I don't know how you did because I can't hear. But you can leave comments and let me know how this is helping or not helping. 
Here we go, song number four. We gotta play D and A. And remember, don't just reach for it with your finger. Actually use your elbow to change the height of your arm. Song four. Oh, one, two, and three, and go. Let's try that again, and remember to use your elbow. Use the back part of your arm to change strings. One and two in song four, go. Next up, song five. One, two, ready, play. Let's play song number five again. One, two, ready, go. great job now let's go pick up our bows uh this is where you really need to spend the most time it's all about that bow grip you don't get to hold the bow however you want we've been playing these bowed instruments for 500 years and and we have a very specific way of holding the bow and if your hand hurts or if you can't produce a good sound it's probably your bow grip uh so let's review violins violas thumb bent Relax those fingers. You should have some spacing. Pinky on top. Lean that hand forward. Can you roll the bow? All right, good. Cello, bass, uh, very similar. Get that thumb bent right in between the frog and the wrapping. Find that flat part, get your thumb right there. Fingers very relaxed, space. Lean that hand forward, get that pinky uh, on the frog right in front. Remember, at the end of the day, you are making kind of a C with your hand, and the bow should kind of just pop in and out of your bow grip. If you have a, a, a perfect bow grip, the bow should just stick right in and be able to pop right out. Now, it's also important to remember that once you have your perfect bow grip, and you bring that bow down on the strings of your instrument, the instrument takes the weight of the bow, and now your right hand can relax even more. You barely need to hold that bow. I can't stress this enough. You are barely holding on to that bow. All right, let's see what kind of sound we can make. Here is song number two again. Set your bow down. And relax. At this point, just relax. Set your bow down. And anytime I say set, that's what I mean. Set your bow. You don't want to come from the air. Set your bow down on the D string. Relax your muscles. Take a breath with me. Oh, one, two, ready. <gasps> All right, great job, let's do it again. Set your bow, do not pick your bow up in the rest, and we're gonna start down bow. So start with a bow near your hand. One, two, song two, go. Are you tensing up? Relax all your muscles. Bring your instrument down and bring it back up again. We're about to play song number three. Find the A string. Relax that bow grip. Keep that thumb bent. Pinky on top violins, violas. Not you, cellos or basses. Here's song three. A uh, one, two, song three, go. <laughs>
Let's try it again. If your bow's bouncing, you're probably tense. Here we go, song number three. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> For song number four, remember your elbow, just like the pizzicato, is going to control the uh, height of your bow. So when you're going from the D to the A string, A to the D string, remember it's the back part of your arm that is controlling it. Don't just move your wrist and move your fingers to grab the string. All right, here we go. Song number four, D's and A's. One, two, song four, go. All right, let's try it again. Song number four, set your bow down. Take a breath with me. One, two, ready? <gasps> instrument down relax it shake it out remember we don't want to practice tension into our playing if you practice tense you'll always play tense so always practice loose here we go song number five get that instrument up one two song five go <laughs> Let's try it again. Song five. One, two, song five, go. Let's keep going, song number six, jumping jacks. Set your bow, relax your bow grip, let your shoulders relax. If you're cello, don't tense your legs. Uh, bass, don't lock your knees. Here we go, song number six. One, two, ready, go. Song number six again. One, two, ready, go. With song seven, mix them up. We just need to use our elbow a lot. If you are not hitting the strings cleanly, it is probably your elbow. Here we go, song number seven. Two, three, and. Set that bow again, we're gonna do it again. Song seven. One, two, ready, and. Next up, we have count carefully. Now, when you're resting for those two quarter rests in beat three and beat four, we don't want any extraneous sound coming from our bow. We also don't want to take our bow off the string, and this is really tricky. You just have to do the down bow and the up bow and then just freeze, and then start up again. Good luck, here's song eight. Oh, and I don't wanna to forget to mention that there is a repeat sign, those two little dots at the end of the line means go back to the beginning and play it again. So when we get to the end, we are going to instantly start over again. One, two, ready, and.
All right, let's try it again. Song number eight. One, two, ready, and. Last song, number nine, and then you're done with your practice session. All right, let's check all the basics. How are you standing? Are you relaxed? Are your knees bent? Are you remembering to breathe? Is your right hand locking up, or are you keeping it nice and relaxed and loose? All right, song number nine. Bring those instruments up. One, two, ready, go. Like all songs, we get to do it again. Song number nine. One, two, ready, go. Good job, everybody. You just completed your first virtual lesson. Hey, leave some comments if uh, you have any questions and I can get to them in the next video. Next week, we are going to be going over uh, how to play songs 10 through 15. I don't think I'll do 16. 10 through 15. Uh, work on that technique. Look, these instruments are hard. You will get frustrated, and that's okay. Uh, practice every single day. I don't know, for at least 15 minutes. And I'll see you next week.